guys. I am painter and illustrator Brittany Ann with Zola Art Factory. I'm still trying to figure out the whole intro thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, you know, as we go along. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about finding your own style. Uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because that's probably like in my top five most asked question um, on Instagram. Um, I don't have a whole lot of followers here uh, on YouTube, but I get tons of questions on my Instagram regarding my work, and that's probably right up there. Um, how did you develop your own style? Um, how did you do this? How did you figure this out? You know, things of that nature. So I wanted to talk about um, what I did uh, over the years and how I developed you know the style of illustration that I currently have now my art my work did evolve a lot over the years when I first started I was not good at certain things you know around 2013 14 ish I decided that I really want to take this illustration thing seriously the reason I say illustration is because that's what I am I always call myself an illustrator before anything else painting for me you know like my little painting area over here putting a canvas on the easel and all that that for me that's stepping out of my comfort zone because that's not how I started out uh, when I first started out my illustration journey um, I was doing a lot of doodling and I mean it, it was practice for me I literally would sit at my desk at work and just doodle random faces or floating heads I like to call it I still call it that um, I would doodle just random heads over and over again in different, um, you know, sit in different ways in different uh, positions. I would do one straight ahead, um, a girl looking to the side, a girl looking up like this, you know, like that, just to practice proportion. Um, in the beginning of my art journey, I did not know, know how to draw eyes at all, really. Um, they would be disgusting looking, wonky, it was just a mess. And to avoid drawing eyes, which I don't recommend anybody do, I think you should just you know dive in I used to avoid drawing eyes and what I would do is I would draw the lips and the nose like normal and I will always give this girl a crazy hairstyle just so I have an excuse to cover her eyes up and I told myself like I somebody text me. told myself that I did not want to avoid anything I want to practice and really um, get my you know skill level up now in doing all of that practicing and I mean I went through tons of sketchbooks one day I'm probably gonna do a you know a sketchbook tour of my old work but in doing all of that practicing and going through sketchbook after sketchbook and doodle after doodle I slowly started developing my own style altogether I have a distinct look with my girls um, that a lot of people mention they always say oh your eyes every time I see a girl with those eyes I know you did I think that's very important as an artist to have a unique signature look I mean is it necessary necessary not really I mean there's illustrators out there who can literally draw anything and they don't really have a set style they just draw in all kinds of styles and that's fine too I personally like the fact that people can see my work the minute they look at it and say oh that, that's a Zola piece right there. They can tell right away. And I personally like that. I mean, that's just me. I was watching somebody's YouTube video. I can't even remember his name. Uh, it was a young man. Uh, he called it uh, the same face syndrome or something like that, where an illustrator would be drawing and like all of their characters pretty much have the same face, but different characters. I don't, I know I have that syndrome. I completely have the same face syndrome. Completely, 100%. All of my girls, even the men that I draw, they all have the same face pretty much. Um, of course, they're different characters, but you know I did that because they all pretty much have the same face and I really, I don't find anything wrong with that. If you really think about like cartoons, for example, the illustrators, think of The Simpsons. I don't know, Family Guy, I hate that show so much. Ugh. You know, certain cartoons, the illustrator pretty much is drawing all the characters pretty much the same. They just have different hair, different skin color, different <laughs> clothes, you know, so you can, dif you know, differentiate. Can the hell, I can't say that word. Tell that it's a different character, but it's all pretty much the same look, the same face. I feel like I'm rambling. That is probably the number one answer I give people when they ask me, how do you develop your own style? Practice draw a lot do it over and over and over if you are having trouble with a certain part 
um, you know, my issue was eyes. Some people's issue is noses. Some people can't draw hands. Some people can't draw feet. Um, I just recommend that you just dive in, continue practicing. Of course, you know, me personally, I'm a self-taught artist. I didn't go to school or anything like that. You know, the last art class I took was in ninth grade, in freshman year of high school. You no, know, and I had to literally buy art books. I have quite a few art books actually that teaches me different styles and different techniques. You know, I studied those books and I looked at YouTube videos, you know, people doing, you know, tutorials and things of that nature. And I kind of picked that up and I just started um, practicing and doing my own thing. And eventually you develop your own unique signature. One thing I do want to mention uh, in regards to like starting your art journey and you are like looking at other artists as inspiration. We've all been there. I've been there myself. When I first started, my main, my number one inspiration as far as black illustrators was um, Marcus Bryan. I was like obsessed with his work. I still love his work. He was probably my number one inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I was just starting out and I found myself a, quite a few times in the beginning of my career drawing just like him. I think that sometimes when you are a new artist and you're just starting out, um, it's like the second nature that you look up to another artist so much that you start creating the, your pieces exactly like them because you might you admire their work and in some instance you want your work to look like theirs. You have to be careful with that. You have to be careful with that because if you don't if you don't discipline yourself to study and develop your own style, you're gonna run into the problem of your work looking like somebody else's. I forgive, you know, newer artists when they do that. I can't count how many times I ran into somebody who was completely drawing exactly like me. There was even instances where somebody just redrew my work altogether. <laughs> so when I see somebody's work that's inspired by me, um, I mean, sometimes I'm like, mm -hmm. I do, I'm, I'm, we all do that. Like, if you're an artist and you don't, and you say, I don't care, like, you're lying. I don't care what nobody say, you lying if you look at somebody's work and you know, you know that they are drawing like you and you're gonna sit there saying, eh, whatever, you're lying. I don't wanna hear that. But it is what, that's that's what happens. That's just how it is in the art world. You, you can't be mad. You can't go confronting every single person. You just can't do that. And on top of that, you know, I've done it before in my early career. But what you're not going to do is completely copy off another artist's work. And when I say copy, I'm going to give you a little story. This literally just happened a few months ago. It, it's a, it was a young lady following me on Instagram. And there's something I like to do. I never actually talked about this. If I notice another person following me and they have art anywhere in their username, I always check their profile out because I'm nosy. I found so many dope artists by doing that. Like I see that they follow me and then I see the name, the word art in their name and I look at their profile and I found so many gems. This is how I found out this girl was copying my work. So I am obsessed with Instagram stories, right? I'm constantly posting on Instagram stories. I just It's just my favorite thing in the whole world. And I noticed that this young lady was always like the first, second, or third person watching my stories. Always. She was always right there at the door as soon as I opened it, right? I was being nosy because she had art in her name. I said, let me look at her profile. I just want to see, you know, her art or whatever. This was completely random. Random. I just looked at this girl's profile, right? The very first thing I seen, it was a reel she was promoting her you know she was doing a reel she was just making a reel we all do that she redrew four of my pieces and i'm not talking about inspired i'm talking about completely redrew them line for line shadow for shadow dimple to dimple i'm telling you completely my work i've seen that before over the years i've seen people completely redraw my work so you know i, I didn't really bat an eye too much but i wasn't going to say anything until I noticed she was selling prints as well. Um, sis, you okay? Not only did she copy my work completely, she was also selling prints. And what made me even matter is the people that was in the comments said, oh, I love your style. That's, 
not her style. I was just, I was like, yo, she's actually selling prints too. So I wasn't gonna say anything. I was really upset. I was like, this is, this is, this is how we gonna do this, huh? And I gave it a couple of weeks actually, and then I finally said something to her because, like I said, this girl was watching me like a hawk. She was in my stories, but she's never commented on any post. She's never said anything to me. She's never DM me nothing. She just watches me. That's all she did was watch. So I finally said something. I said, hey, you know, how you doing? So I noticed you are redrawing my work and selling prints. Can you tell me why you're doing that? Instead of responding to me after I confronted her, she didn't respond at all. She just blocked me. So she was really guilty. That we can't do, guys. The best way to develop your own style is by practicing. It's okay, it's completely normal to be inspired by an artist that you look up to. I am inspired still to this day, every single day, I find somebody like, oh my God, oh, you know, I get it, I get it. But it's not okay to copy. If you gonna copy, at least keep it to yourself. Like, why are you posting it? Why are you making prints? Why are you making reels? Like, you think they wasn't gonna come across it? Like, come on now not do that I always tell people just lots of practice grab you some sketchbooks they're you know they're affordable get you a couple of sketchbooks and I mean just sit and doodle just sit and draw if you are having trouble with something draw that all the time all the time just keep practicing and practicing and practicing next thing you know you're gonna have your own style and you're not even going to, and like it, it takes a while it takes a while it's not overnight it takes a while this cup keeps my coffee Warm for a long time. Where's the camera? This brand, whatever this brand is, FDA, I guess. Oh, I got some stickers on it. I know I got stickers, right? Go to my shop. Go to my shop. I just wanted to make a video. I just felt like talking. I felt like looking at my new lens that I just put on this camera. I just wanted to see what it looked like. So yeah, um, I got a couple of vlogs coming up. Uh, you know, packing orders things of that nature. I got a lot of footage. I just didn't want to put it in this video in particular because I'm not done vlogging for the week. Uh, so yeah, just look out for that. If you are not subscribed to me, if you are new here, if you made it to the end of the video, you might as well subscribe. You might as well. You might as well stay for a while. I'm not too annoying, you know. Like this video if you liked it. Um, check me out on Instagram. The shop my shop the link is in the bio so um yeah check that out